engineering mathematics question we have this matrix p which is a 4 cross 5 matrix which means it will be having four rows and five columns so we can say that p constitutes of five column vectors let us call them c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 these are all the column vectors and there will be five of them because it is a four cross five matrix so this is how we can represent the given matrix p and now what they have given p x equal to zero now we wrote p as a matrix consisting of five column vectors and this x is another matrix such that their product is giving us zero and the solution for this equation that becomes a scalar multiple of this given matrix so what we can say that the given matrix is actually like this 2 5 4 3 1 those are the separate elements in it and that's transpose given over there so this is our p and it's transpose so this is a row matrix so it's transpose will become a column vector kind of thing so when we take the product of them that has to be scalar multiple so what we'll say that this matrix x that can be written as 2k 5k 4k 3k and 1k and then transpose of that this is because what what did we do we took this given vector as a reference and then we multiplied some constant k with it to get the given matrix x as this way then it's transpose now what we'll simply do is we have this p we have x we will simply multiply them and see what do we get so now this is its transpose will be taken so what will happen is when we try to multiply them their corresponding elements will get multiplied so the result of px that we will get it will be 2k times c1 plus 5k c2 plus 4k c3 3k c4 and 1k or simply k times of c5 but we wanted the solution of px equal to 0 so we will say this equal to 0 now from all of this we can again take back that common factor k outside which we had ourselves included in it so after removing that k we will get an equation that will be 2c1 plus 5c2 plus 4c3 plus 3c4 plus c5 equal to 0 now from this we can see that all of these four are having some coefficients with them this one is alone so what we can do is we can write this c5 in terms of the other four we can say c5 equal to minus 2c1 minus 5c2 minus 4c3 and minus 3c4 so what did we just do we wrote one column vector as a sum of other four not as not actually as a sum as some combination of the other four column vectors so we can say that this c5 it is a linearly dependent column vector because the value of c5 is dependent on the value of c1 c2 c3 and c4 so this c5 becomes linearly dependent column vector and these four from c1 till c4 they become linearly independent column vectors because they are not dependent on each other but all of them put together they determine the value of this c5 so what are we actually having we have four linearly independent column vectors and one linearly dependent column vector so in this four cross five matrix how do we actually determine the rank of a matrix rank is nothing but this interpretation has the number of linearly independent column vectors in it or when you represent it this way then what do we do we count the number of zeros and ones we count the rows in which how many zeros are there previously we have ones then here we take zeros so that actually translates the same interpretation that we are essentially counting the number of linearly independent column vectors and in this case we have got 
four such column vectors. So we can say that the rank of this P is same as the number of linearly independent column vectors in it, which is four. So the answer for this question will also be four.